Sonder. Sonder is the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own. Their own ambitions, friends, routines, worries, and inherited craziness. We are the leading character in our own story, and our families and friends are like our casting crew. And then there are the extras, the passerbys, and all of them have epic stories of their own. But how often do we really see someone, or more so, allow ourselves to be seen? As a wildlife biologist, my career has led me to some of the most isolated places in the world. For nearly 20 years, remote islands, coral atolls, jungles, boats, and villages have been my home. But three years ago, I left my mermaid life and I moved to the village of Boulder. And although I've been surrounded by the most extraordinary people, I kind of struggled to find my tribe. In myself, I longed to belong, to feel truly seen, heard and felt, but instead I felt invisible, intimidated, embarrassed, and messy. Not quite the right fit for any particular tribe. Struggling to find work, single, broke, and lonely. Trust me, the last thing I wanted to do was stand on the stage and admit that I was feeling lost in this bubble of bliss. I spent decades studying animals, why they do what they do in order to survive, and when it comes to mammals, and humans in particular, our survival is inextricably linked to the bonds that we make. Research shows that mammals are more socially connected than reptiles, and primates more than any other mammals, and humans more than any other primate. So what this suggests is that by becoming more socially connected, it is essential to our survival. But today, we're shifting away from a culture of depending upon one another and towards a culture of absolute independence. We're priding ourselves on not needing others, or at least not admitting it. Many of us carefully construct personas that only show the parts of us that we want to be seen, the beautiful parts. We hold our craziness close to our hearts and hope that no one, not even those closest to us, will ever discover that we don't really have our shit together. But you know what? Very few people really have their shit together. And when you travel, it's virtually impossible to get away with a persona or be 100% independent. There will always be awkward moments when you have to ask for help to navigate and to survive. One night in the jungles of Indonesia, I became violently ill, and for 24 hours, my homestay mother and sister tended to me as if I were their own. They prayed, they cried, they stayed by my side, Yet, at that time, they had only known me for three days. Many people that I have met along the way have had next to nothing in terms of material value, but they gave everything, food, water, love, and laughter. They taught me that what I thought was missing in my life paled in comparison to what I had been gifted. There's a beautiful South African belief called Ubuntu. I am because of you. This powerful ideal is represented in villages all over the world, embodying connection and community. Author Boyd Vardy says that in a more collective society, we realize that our own well-being is deeply tied to the well-being of others. Danger is shared, joy is shared, pain is shared, food is shared. The concept of Sonder reminded me that the opportunity for connection is all around us. And sometimes in life, it's not about where you're at in your story, but where you can be in someone else's. You may appear only once in someone's story, and someone may appear only once in yours, maybe as an extra sipping coffee in the background. But if you acknowledge that moment, that glance, and you don't look away, and you smile, it could truly mean the world to someone who feels invisible. I realize that when I travel, I'm a seeker of new experiences. I'm liberated from feeling like I should belong anywhere. Instead, I'm in the moment, and I cherish my surroundings, I forget my insecurities, and every connection becomes a precious gift. Well, we all have the ability to be that kind of seeker and to be that kind of gift all around us. No matter where we're at in our journey or our struggle, we can hold space for one another. We can reach out, we can hug, we can look away from a screen and look up at a face. So the question really is, how willing are you to truly own your story, the beauty and the mess? How open are you to really connect with others? Trust me, it takes courage to unmatch our persona, to embrace the parts of us that are less comfortable and less sparkly. But tonight, I invite all of you to dig a little deeper 
and see each other in a new light. Step out of your story and into someone else's because epic stories are all around us. We just have to take the time to see and be seen. Thank you.